is going on everybody z here and welcome back to no man's sky so today we have the next generation update upon us and with that we say goodbye to our 101 hour save that might not seem like a lot to you guys but to me that's a long time that is a long time we are going to start a fresh brand new game and i'm super excited hopefully you guys are as well make sure you leave a like on the video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more we're just going to do a a nice normal mode and we're going to get right on into this so hopefully you guys enjoy like i said if you do make sure like subscribe all the fun things we're going to be continuing the series as long as you enjoy we'll continue it so let's go ahead let's see what it has to offer the next generation update is here and before we get too far into the video i gotta give a, qu a quick shout out to today's sponsor ridge wallet the ridge wallet the ridge wallet is a modern sleek industrial upgrade to the old flappy wallet that you probably have sitting in your back pocket that does absolutely nothing but collect junk and clutter and receipts and stuff that you don't need anymore instead upgrade to something more modern something new something in the 21st century like a ridge wallet you can get multiple different colors they have over 40 colors and types to choose from you can get the super amazing camo i know you can't see it but it's there or you can get some sleek industrial carbon fiber now if you're worried about the cash stuff guess what you got cash strap you got cash clip both of them boom ready to go now if you can't decide i want a cash strap i want a cash clip i don't know don't worry they've got you covered with the easy to upgrade option each wallet is designed to hold up to 12 cards and with their over 30,000 5 five-star reviews they are so confident that you're going to like your ridge wallet that you can test drive it for 45 days and if you don't like it for any reason you can send it back full refund no questions asked and to top it off each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty that means you can buy one for now use it forever use it for your lifetime hand it down to your kids use it for their lifetime who knows you might just have a family heirloom do yourself a favor cut the clutter upgrade to the ridge wallet today go to ridge.com slash d1 gaming that's ridge.com slash d1 gaming get 10 percent off your purchase and free worldwide delivery and returns that's ridge.com slash d1 gaming use code z1 gaming and thank you again for sponsoring this video ridge let's Let's get back to it all right we're loading in begin initialization i also want to make sure that my um my uh my graphical settings are all right because they said with ultra settings you're going to see a lot uh a lot nicer stuffs uh this planet already looks terrible what planet did i start on it's a radiation planet <laughs> it looks terrible oh no okay shielding systems online this planet looks awful. I don't want to be here. It's like a... It's like a horrible deserty planet. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get destroyed by like a heat wave. <gasps> There's our super basic laser tool. <laughs> our mining tool. That's crazy. I haven't had one of those for so long. All right. Uh, let me go through make sure my settings are good. And then uh, we'll get right on into this. Also, I am going to be playing this series in first person. I can't do the third person thing. It's just, I don't like it. It's just not my cup of tea. All right, we are good to go. Um, let's go ahead and let's swap to first person view. So I'm going to swap to first person view. That way everybody knows how to do it because it took me a minute to figure it out. Basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hold up, uh, you're gonna wanna press the button that's gonna open this menu. You're gonna go settings and then toggle camera view and now we're good okay perform a scan let's do this so let's get this out and let's swap uh locate sodium with the scanner activate the scanner scanner critically damaged i can't even do it all right let's grab some of this stuff i bet you yeah ferrite dust perfect oh it feels so good to be starting over but it's also like not so good at the same time because i have nothing i'm like broke look at this zero units zero nanites zero quicksilver uh, my inventories are terribly small. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be interesting. I don't have any S-Class ships. I don't have a living ship. Oh, this is gonna be rough. All right, we should be good. Let's go ahead and repair our scanner. So let's go over to multi-tools scanner. Uh, repaired that. Look at how basic this tool looks. I love it though. I love it. All right, uh, scan for sodium. All right, we got some sodium over here. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh my gosh, my jetpack doesn't have any upgrades on it. It's horrible, terrible. I had some lag there for a second. All right, I gotta re I gotta repair my hazard protection because uh, there we go. We were taking radiation damage. We don't want that. Oh, we are alive. We're doing things. Automated distress signal. That distress signal is probably my ship. 
Uh, where is that distress signal at? Okay, it's all the way over there. Hold on. I want to actually grab. So, what the heck? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm going to grab some of this stuff. Because I know we're going to need it. Uh, this is dihydrogen. And then I also want to grab. Oh, that's an advanced mining laser required. I don't have an advanced mining laser. It is so weird not being able to do the things and the stuff. Advanced mining laser required. Oh, look at these nasty prickly plants. Ooh. And they're like all like gooey and like they look like tentacles. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no, thank you. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to this thing over here. I'm trying to. Oh man. Oh no! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Nasty plants. Okay, we got a signal source. We're super close, right over this hill. We'll be there in no time at all. It's gonna be a broken down ship. <gasps> it is indeed. There's the starter ship. Oh, it's super cool. All right, so let's do the signal stuff, and uh, we're gonna have to start repairing a ship here so we can get out of here. Scenario, iteration, blah, 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 deleted. Boundary, separation failure, likely. Vessel, 16 emptied, cause sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer, analysis. Fresh iteration generated, anomaly, containment prepared. I don't know what that means. I just read the words. Broadcast, received, travel anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant, position logged. System integrity scan initialized. Basically, I think what it's saying is that uh, I just came here and um, I'm the anomaly. Like, I, I just came in here and we're, we're trying to figure out this stuff. Anyways, uh, investigate the crashed ship. Okay, let's do this. Oh, look at it. I haven't seen this little guy forever. Now, I'm going to keep this ship forever. I do that in like all of my saves is I always keep the starting ship because it's just a neat little ship. And actually, we could upgrade this to an S class and we could upgrade the storage. Um... That would actually be pretty interesting to do. I'm not gonna lie. We just might just keep this one and just make it a super, super amazing ship. Atlas class, Atlas connection, intermittent, launch thrusters, offline, pulse engine, offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before, but this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Uh, let's connect the exosuit. Log, 4225A, unavailable. Substantiating data, unavailable. <laughs> exosuit, connected. Suggestion, pilot should perform maintenance. Uh, select desired repair path. Repair ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols, initiated. All right, look at that. We got to repair the pulse engine. Uh, launch us critically damaged, press E to exit, okay. So now we are going to have to build some stuff. We're going to make like a little crafting table deal, things like that. Uh, recommend repair ship engines. Repairing starship requires a mix of crafted product products, salvaged items, and advanced refined substances. Collect ferrite dust. All right. So let's start with that. And then uh, we'll get rock and roll in here. So I also just want to say hello to everybody new that's playing. Maybe there's a lot of people that are, uh, you know, just getting a new PlayStation or Xbox, or maybe you're hopping in for the first time ever into No Man's Sky. Welcome, welcome. Glad you finally made it. It is a good game. I have liked it from the beginning, um, but I, I, it had a bad rap in the beginning. It had a bad rap. Is this carbon? Let's grab some carbon because I'm going to need that for uh, for things. We're going to need it for things. Like, you know, I have 100 hours on my last save. I kind of have an idea of what, uh, of what I'm doing a little bit, just a little bit, though. Okay, so we need to craft metal plating. So let's go ahead and go into our inventory. Uh, it wants me to craft it on the starship. Interesting. How many do I need? One? Patch metal plating onto the pulse engine. Can I just do this? Oh, nice. Now we need that. Okay, so we can't do that. So it's going to tell me that I probably need to make some kind of... Uh, board the starship and consult ship diagnostics. Okay. Iteration, yes. Functional. Starship critically damaged, vital ingredients missing, unable to synthesize, synthesize required components, pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Do I request assistance? Let's request assistance Let's see what happens. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic seals nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Oh! Okay. Um... So it's going to want us to go and find the stuff. So where is, is it this? 
Was there chromatic seals? Oh, let's take the planetary chart. And then very technology module. So let's use this. Uh, plot a route. Because my guess is that that planetary chart is going to tell us where the hermetic seals are. Right? Maybe. How far away is it? What is the distance on that guy? 920 years? That's not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Very technology module. Oh, I wish I could get that. Hey, hey, can I get, get, hey, can I get a hermetic seal and uh, like a ride or something? No, okay, just leave me alone then. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's jump. Let's run our way all the way over here. Hey, look it. There's some of these guys. Visions of the Gek. Are we gonna start learning words? Hey, hi, voy, voy, voy. The stone resonates producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A small alien life form kneels before me they are tired beaten without meeting my gaze they offer up their hand except except knowledge the name gek floats my vision and echo of a strange vision i have experienced a word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain i have learned the gek word for gek that's good <laughs> that's good i forget because like we're brand new we've never seen any of the other aliens yet so we don't know what the gek the gek the corvax or any of those um any of those guys look like you know um you're like a little flying kitty can i fly oh no radioactive supercell oh you know what this always happens this always happens <laughs> it happens every single time so uh i'm about to get wrecked by a storm but that's because this place over here actually has some interior places to hide from the storm form i've i've done this i remember this Hey, look, there's some free supply containers. I'll take these. Don't mind the storm. All right, let's get out of here. We got to go. The storm is the storm is upon us. Uh, let's overcharge. It's going to overcharge our system a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is do this. And that can blast off for a lot longer. Nice. Power surge fading. And we're protected. Nice. Okay, hollow archive. This will probably give me nanites. Accessing I archive. Six of seven logs corrupted. Entry follows. No one. Psst. Making this recording in case leaving behind in fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Recover supplies. Is it hermetic seal? The log finishes and the machine whirls to life. Spitting out supplies. I have a the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here. Whoever left this message. Perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Oh, I'm sure they did. I am sure that they did. Okay, we're gonna search that. Let's see, is there anything else to search? No, terrible storm going on outside. Uh, let's pop next door though, real quick. Let's see if there's anything good in here. I'm hoping there might be some nanites. Oh, there's not. There's no nanite containers or anything in here. Hmm, normally there is something. Okay, do we have any other rooms in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I think we're probably gonna hang out here for a minute until the storm passes, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh my gosh, the lightning out the window. I'm sorry, the lightning outside the window. Under cover of darkness, the storm has passed. We are now free to go back to our ship. Um, which was where exactly? <laughs> uh, oh, use the analysis visor. It wants me to use, oh, and it's not functional. So I need carbon nanotubes, but guess what? I can make carbon nanotubes. Oh, we have to make this. Okay. Uh, let's go to our exosuit. Let's make some carbon nanotubes. I should be able to, yep. Let's do this. Let's do that. Analysis visor installed. Analysis. Analyze objects for rewards. Locate your starship. All right. So starship is located there. But we can scan stuff and get a little bit of money. Not much, but a little bit. Now, this can be a lot, this can be a very viable option, scanning stuff. Once you get a few S-Class scanner upgrades, uh, you can make like hundreds of thousands uh, by scanning just random stuff on planets. It's, it's pretty great, it's pretty great. And then usually the flora and fauna are worth the most. So like rocks are usually not worth a lot, but like that guy right there is gonna be worth a little bit more. And then this wiggly, nasty looking tentacle plant is gonna be worth more as well. All right, let's head back to our ship now that we have the um, now that we have the the hermetic seal that we need. I really want to find a nice planet. I'd like to find a good planet to start a base on, like to start my first stuff on. Now, 
when it goes to starting a base you cannot start building a base right away right out of the gate um i have a lot of people they join the discord also if you guys want to join the discord estimate just the links down below but if you discord.gg slash z1 gaming um we have no man sky chat in there so but i have a lot of people they're like hey i can't build a base what do i need to do it's like you, you got to play the story a little bit you got to follow the missions and stuff like that so uh, we're not going to be able to build a base right away we got to get to that point but it's all right it's all right it's all good times it's all fun so my life support systems are looking a little low and it hasn't told me to refill them yet but i'm going to go ahead and grab one of these little oxygen rich plants right here and i'm gonna i'm gonna refill a little bit into it uh let's see oxygen let's go put that in life support fantastic all right let's repair our ship uh locate your starship look at located it it's right there found it all right let's repair the pulse engine Her hermetic seal <laughs> launch thrusters critically damaged we need pure ferra and dihydrogen jelly so now it's gonna want me to make a, a refiner so let's go ahead and let's deploy a refiner so launch uh repair launch thrusters repair launch thrusters i got it a craft a hydrogen jelly uh to hydrogen acquire open inventory let's go ahead and craft one of those it's grease let's oh that's not what i wanted to do whatever let's grease up our landing gear she's it's seized you know <laughs> it's seized up we gotta throw some lube on it all right and then repair launch thrusters with pure ferrite let's go ahead and let's open up this guy let us craft a product um do, 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 do. we gotta craft a construct a portable refiner craft metal plating all right construct portable portable refiner gather oxygen hopefully this will be 30. yeah perfect okay so we got the stuff access the build menu with the z haha <laughs> z get it i like it i like it okay boom one portable refinery let's go ahead let's add uh some condensed carbon let's add some ferrite dust that's going to give us 60 pure ferrite and let's go ahead and start that guy and just like that it's done easy enough exosuit fantastic repair the launch thrusters guys i think we're about to leave this horrible planet i don't know why i keep getting in the ship to do this but hey it is what it is right we have done it we have done it ship starship repaired launch systems online okay hold on i want to pick this thing up before we uh before we go anywhere uh pick you up fantastic so let's get out of there and let's hop into here all systems functional return to your ship i'm ready use w to take off goodbye terrible planet you were awful horrible terrible and i don't ever want to be here again and away we go the stars are our next stop <laughs> okay all systems functional seek answers among the stars all right do i have pulse engines i do good um also so for starship stuff i actually prefer the third person view on starship stuff um i don't know why i just do because I, I like just looking at the ship you know it's nice it's nice <gasps> we've done it i discovered this five planets gek trading promising Ooh, it's a promising economy level too that's really nice orbital flight achieve test starship systems test flight controls with thrust with w test boost with left shift hold space for pulse engine we're good to go we're good looking good now i don't know if i have a scanner oh incoming message okay incoming transmission source uh please identify yourself i'm let's identify ourselves you're not alone <laughs> follow the the broadcast ends as strangely as it begins the final piece of the coordinate appears to be a set of planetary coordinates let's input the coordinate data uh where are you taking me okay so let's go here can i scan this place what kind of what kind of system are we going to here a torrid planet selenium copper phosphorus Ugh, that's not going to be a good time that is not going to be a good time. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, if there's selenium there, 
It's it's a hot planet. It's a hot and nasty planet. <gasps> a paradise planet. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> oh yes! That is where we will be setting up shop for sure. Okay, but we gotta go here first. Because I can't do any base building or anything anyway, so. We follow the coordinates and find the signal source. Uh, pilot towards the coordinate marker and engage pulse drive with space pulse. Pulse drive will autopilot two coordinate markers. Nice! Oh, I can't believe we have a paradise planet here. That's super nice. Maybe, maybe every starting system that you start in, maybe it does have a paradise planet. I don't know. All right, we got a signal source here. Now this is a torrid planet, so it's not gonna be a nice one. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But where are we going? Uh, did I hit something? Oh, I think I stopped. You know what? I'm gonna go land over here so I don't have to worry about making launch fuel. <laughs> I don't wanna make launch fuel for this if I don't have to. That's the one thing I miss about my living ship. There's actually a lot of things I miss about the living ship, but you know, it is what it is, so. All right. Uh, hey, we found an outpost. Let's go ahead and scan. That wasn't scan. This is scan. Let's save and chart this planet and see if we can find anything handy dandy useful. Um, let's see. Atlas Pass V1 required. We got some damaged machinery over here, which would be kind of handy. Okay. Uh, enough of the, uh, enough of the, the wandering around. Let's go check this thing out. Okay. So what do we have here? Did you seriously just take me to this damaged machinery right here? Broken technology. The sparking wires of the machine generates a signal, uh, tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left this message is long gone. Let's decipher the signal. Decoding. 1616. Ah, it's the 161616. 16. The old fashioned 16s. Uh, no fuel failed to reach station. Has a protection low, but no choice to go underground. Deployed base computer. As well as log entry, a signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Extract plans. Uh, we got a base computer, which is what we need to actually claim a spot to start the base building stuff. So that's super exciting. And then we also got terrain manipulator. Carbon nanotubes into hydrogen jelly. Easy enough. We can make those. So it's going to want us to make... I'm already gonna tell you right now, it's gonna want us to make the terrain manipulation mission in the log. Mine copper to build the base computer. Mine copper requires the terrain manipulator. All right, so select terrain manipulation mission in the log. So the log is under escape for me. Terrain manipulation, let's select this one. Install the terrain manipulator. Uh, Multi-tool upgrade, fantastic. Let's go to our multi-tool. Install technology, terrain manipulator. Now, I don't have either of those right now, but I will here shortly because I should be able to... Oh, I can't make dihydrogen. Hmm, we're going to need more dihydrogen. Um, we need, what, two carbon nanotubes? Now, when you are crafting multiples, you can actually hit... Well, for me, it's A and D, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, like, left and right to select how many you want to build. Uh, so I need two of those, but then we need more dihydrogen, so look what we got here. Okay, I should have... Oh, so close. 3440. I need more dihydrogen. Let's see what's in this damage container. I'm going to junk that burst in metal. What'd we get? Oh, I got a gag relic. Nice. Need more dihydrogen. Hey, there's a little bit right here. Oh, weapon charge depleted? Oh, come on. Mining beam. We'll go with uh, condensed carbon. Nope, we're going to go with regular carbon. There we go. Okay, so now we can make the jelly and now we can get the terrain manipulator online. Wonderful, wonderful. <gasps> terrain manipulator installed. Awesome. Now we need to mine copper. All right, gather copper, activate the terrain manipulator with G, Tur uh, mining beam. Use the analysis visor to locate deposits. So I am going to be looking for a deposit of copper deposit. Wait, huh? that one's 410. It's 307. 327. Let's go to that one right there. We'll tag that one. Let's head that way. Um, I might need to grab some stuff for oxygen and for uh, my my 
suit life support systems or my hazard protections as well oh look at those guys those guys are weird looking um elderly behavior diet the, the diet is collecting seeds so we should be safe from them all right we gotta grab the sodium because my uh my systems are running a little low here sodium life support system fantastic okay let's go grab this copper all right mining beam time uh no terrain manipulator time oh look at all this terrain manipulation it's so nice you know i thought you could scroll wheel to change the size of this is that not a thing i don't know all right perfect so now it wants me to make chromatic metal deploy refiner uh from the build menu let's go ahead and do that i already have one in my inventory so i don't have to worry about crafting another one uh, let's go ahead and pull the refiner. Let's put some fuel in here that I don't have currently. Darn it. Uh, we'll throw the 213 copper. Nice. All right, let's grab some fuel from one of these guys real quick. All right, we should have enough fuel to get this going. And let's go ahead and begin that. So we're turning copper into chromatic metal. And we need, I think it's 30 chromatic metal for a base computer. So we're going to have way more than we need for now. But we're going to need a lot more in the future. Chromatic metal is one of the things that you just need so much of. Also, there is a way to make infinite amounts of chromatic metal. Um, it was actually kind of part of the game. It's been part of the game forever, and I don't think it's something that's gonna get patched out, but we're not gonna worry about that until we start doing base building stuff where chromatic metal is going to be a problem for us. All right, there's the chromatic metal. Easy enough. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pick this guy up. Uh, control, delete, fantastic and we are good the base computer claims a site for construction find a suitable area and deploy a base computer uh access with what in the absolute heck are you it looks like a little tiny one that is like super weird looking um now i don't want to do it on this planet i want to do it on the paradise planet so i'm gonna try i'm gonna leave and i'm gonna place it on the paradise planet i want to see if that's gonna mess up anything because it might be saying hey uh, you need to do it here, but I don't want to do it that here. It looks, it, this place just looks awful. All right, where was this, uh, paradise planet? Right there. That looks good to me. Let's go there. Also, I don't see a space station yet. I don't see a space station here. Little worried about that, though. Maybe I'm going to have to leave this system, or maybe it's just not populated yet. I don't know. <laughs> so, it says this is a paradise planet this is not we're gonna we're not gonna be staying here for super long because i don't like the um i don't like the red oceans and stuff like that like it just kind of i don't know it's, it's just not a it's not super appealing for a, like a final base place but it'll work for now as we're trying to figure things out and do things until we can find a planet that's like a paradise planet that's more of a, a green and blue lush thing now i know everyone's like well it's red you know red zoo and gaming so yeah but it just it's not pretty on the eyes unfortunately you know what? We'll just set up on this little peninsula right here. We'll set up here. Uh, weather is balmy, isolated, abundant, and high. Nice. Let's just make a nice little base place somewhere. Man, I wish it was flatter here. Hmm. It's not as flat as I thought it would be. Ah, we'll call this home. We'll call this home. Nice little peninsula area. Nothing too crazy going on. I like it. We'll call this home. So let's go ahead and let's place a base computer register the land as your own with the base computer heck yes we claim we're claiming our first site universal archive uh search reveals no prior claims on the site sonar text confirms it is suitable for construction claim the base look at that we have a nice little peninsula area it's gonna be super fancy We've done it. Search base computer archives with terminal E. Uh, okay. Accessing log from previous user. Entity follows. Storms sweeping across, but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans while well, need to back soon. Extract plans. So we got a wood. We got a wooden wall. <laughs> Bases provide shelter from harsh planetary conditions. Uh. Recharging your hazard protection as your base grows, it will grant access to many advanced technologies. Construct bases as a shelter from harsh uh, environments. 
There's no harsh environments here. That's why we went to a paradise planet. Expand your base by uh, earning new construction blueprints. Return to your base to store and process items as you explore. Construct a shelter from uh, for protection against hazards. Build foundations from wooden floor panels. Okay, well, we should be able to do that super easy. Where are we actually going to build this, though? Let's see. Let's see where we're going to start this. I'm feeling like up here might be the might be the place. Oh, I have to oh, I need a fancy bunny lizard for that. All right. Wooden floor. I've done it. Build wooden walls. I'm literally just going to build the minimum right now. Uh, One. Two. Three. It's going to want me to build a door. Is there seriously a storm? Oh, I didn't think this place had storms. Hmm. Well, another reason we're not staying here. <laughs> and finished with a door frame. Can I build missing puzzles? Oh, come on. All right, there we go. Ta -da! We got a door. We are now protected. <gasps> Base archives updated. New signal acquired. Base computer archives. There's an outpost. Nice. But are we in the storm? Yes, we are. We're in the storm. Let's just stay out of the storm for now. Okay, so this planet does have storms. That's terrible. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I can I can analyze stuff from the door, <laughs> from the safety of my house. <gasps> We're gonna analyze some of the stuff that we can. And then, uh, oh, storm's clearing. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so it wants me to go to my base computer archives. It wants me to check this out again. Is it gonna unlock new things for me? What do we have? Accessing log from previous user. Additional archive records found. Da, da, da. Follows. Construction largely. Uh, success recovered salvage data from nearby plans log. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. That begin search. Extract plans. Whoever recorded these logs ev uh, evidently had some success. I have access to their plans and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Uh, we've got a construction research unit. Very nice. Earn new blueprints from construction research unit. Expand your base with advanced technology and large structures. Uh, expand your base by earning construction blueprints. Dig up buried technology uh, to earn blueprints. Power your base to enable advanced technology. Use teleporters to instantly return to your base during your travels. So what that is basically saying is we can actually make a, uh, a, a unit. Actually, let's just make it. We should be. Uh, do we have the stuff to make it? Hold on. Let's see here. Uh, technology, portable. Um, I need magnetized ferret and carbon nanotubes. Let's see, do I have the stuff to make a carbon nanotube? I do. And then we actually need to go ahead and place down our, uh, our refinery. So let's go ahead and do that. Portable refinery. Let's just place that, uh, let's place it right here for now. And then that is going to make our magnetized ferrite. So we need to get some fuel in here. And then I believe we need to go from pure ferrite to magnetized ferrite. But that's only going to make us five. So that's not going to be enough. So let's just go put that back in our inventory. Uh, ferrite dust. Hmm. Okay, so I need some more ferrite dust. So let me get some ferrite dust. Let me get some, let me get some uh, materials gathered here. I'm actually going to go ahead and start clearing out. I don't want to clear out too much around my base. Well, you know what? We're going to be expanding. It's all getting destroyed anyways. You know, I got to say, these little mushrooms on the ground right here have as much carbon in them as the trees, which is fantastic because then I don't have to destroy any trees. Oh, look at this thing. That's cool looking. Unidentified plant. Neato. Uh, oh, another un unidentified plant. So I'm getting units for all this and I can actually go through. If I hit this and I go to uh, catalog, no, discoveries. If I go to discoveries, I can actually upload all of my discoveries uh, per per deal. And I can actually make money additionally to everything. But it also gives me the option to like rename stuff. Um, but like if I say, I don't know, this is the one I'm currently on. Like if I upload, uh, hold on, upload 10 nanite clusters. So I actually get nanites for that. So I'm getting units for scanning stuff, but then I get nanites for uploading like that. So uh, yeah, a little, little way to get some stuff. Okay, do I have enough stuff to do the things that I need to now? Okay, so pure ferrite, where's ferrite dust? Okay, let's do the ferrite dust, let's make that. And then we're gonna put that through and then we're gonna try to get magnetized ferrite so we can make our base 
research thing. Now let's put that in there. Magnetized ferrite. That's gonna give us 38. How many did we need from, uh, how many do we need for this guy? Oh, we only need 20. Okay, nice. All right, perfect. So now we can go ahead and go into here, go into here, go into here. We can place this guy down right there for now. And basically what this is gonna allow us to do is it's going to allow us to purchase new base modules. Um, now you can purchase base modules through here, but there's only so many that you can get through here. Or once you get to a space station, there's another, uh, there's like a, a, a station you can go to and buy like further base modules, even more stuff. Uh, so research structures, maybe. So these are the basic wooden structures. We got basic metal structures, basic concrete structures. All of these only to take, uh, well, the, the, the concrete stuff takes ferrite dust. But it's weird, the metal stuff takes... Wait, what? Why is this one carbon? It's a thin metal wall, it takes carbon, but everything else takes ferrite dust, which is, you know... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but we need salvage data in order to be able to unlock any of this stuff. So... Explore the planet and find a salvage data. Salvage data is... There's none here. I don't see any nearby. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go go look. Oh, what the heck is that thing? That looks like a monstrous praying mantis. Uh, excited by violence. Its diet is small animals. Oh gosh. I don't want to fight that thing. Uh, buried technology modules. I don't actually see any right now, but that's okay because that is going to end our first episode of a no man's sky next generations like i said brand new save brand new series hopefully you guys want to stick around make sure if you do uh you hit a like on the video and you subscribe for more things as well we're going to continue on and oh man there's so much to do so many things to explore and i have a lot of work to do we have a lot of work to do we have new things to unlock we have new ships to get we have new base pieces to get we've got a lot we've got a lot ahead of us but yes thank you again for coming out Hopefully you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Hey, guys. Bye, guys.